here with another makeup tutorial. I decided this week that I wasn't going to post any vlog footage from the 4th of July because I forgot to film. So I decided to create a makeup look and this morning when I was getting ready for work I did something similar to this and I thought maybe I can glam it up a little bit and make a tutorial. So this is what I came up with. It's super out of my comfort zone. I don't usually wear any type of lip product or like dark colors. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll see how it looks off camera, but on camera this is what it looks like. Oh, Ugh. I will see you guys at the end of the video. Um, I didn't feel like doing both eyes on camera, so I look like this right now. All right, so we are primarily going to use this palette right here, the Modern Renaissance palette and then one other palette that my uh, camera is currently sitting on. So I'll show you that in a minute. I promise you this is easy as hell. All right, first, get a mirror. Second, take this orange color or any similar orange color and put it on a big fluffy brush. Put it all over your lid and it can be messy. You can bring it up as high as you want. I bring it up pretty high because um, my eyelids are hooded, so I have to bring it up this high for it to actually look good. All right, then you're gonna take a flat brush, like one of these, something like this, flat. And you're going to take this color right here, this color right here, and this color right here. So I take the two pink colors first and then just add a little bit of red ochre at the end. And then you're going to pat that on your lid space right underneath your crease. If you have hooded eyes, I bring it up above my crease just a little bit so I can actually see it. All right, you should have a pretty harsh line. Oh shit. And then we're gonna take the other end of your brush. Now you've just got another fluffy brush. This has no product on it and it's a little bit smaller than the first one we used. And you're going to blend out that top line. So I just kind of go like this and I do a little windshield wiper motion. And I'm pressing fairly hard this first time because I'm gonna go back in and add color. And then I repeat the process until I'm happy with the color. Okay, and that's literally it. Um, I've been recording for four minutes and I'm already almost done. Now, you wanna do the inner corner. We're gonna use this palette right here. This is called the Alamar Cosmetics Palette. And then I'm gonna use the two top colors right here. I'm gonna mix them. So I'm just gonna take my middle finger and I'm going to put it in the pink shimmery color first and then the gold shimmery color after so it'll look something like this. I'm gonna pat this in the inner corner of my eye. I'm not gonna rub, I'm just gonna place it down. And I'm gonna keep patting that. Now you can do this as dramatic as you want. I personally like how dramatic it is. Now I'm gonna put on eyeliner. I use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Liner. I use this in every single tutorial. It's a, a great liquid liner. It's two dollars. This morning when I did this look, I did not connect my eyeliner all the way to the inner corner, but I'm gonna do that right now. Now I gotta put on an eyelash. The lashes I'm putting on, I got actually from a coworker who is subscribed to like Birchbox and like BoxyCharm and like those makeup subscription boxes. I can't afford them because I'm broke, but she can. And she didn't like these lashes, so she gave them to me. And I've worn them a couple times, I really like them. Pro tip, if you wanna put your lash on correctly, have a mirror, have it below you and look down. That way you can see your lash line better. Oh, I just realized my nose ring is messed up. Don't wait for me to me. I don't want to put foundation on because it's hot. Maybe I should, but that would require me getting up. You know what, I'm not gonna do foundation. All right, but what I am gonna do is take this really dirty Wet n Wild contour and highlight palette kit thing and use that to bronze my face. This is called the e.l.f. powder brush. 
but I use it for bronzing and contouring. I also left my good contouring brush at my friend Kylie's house, so we're working with this today. I'm using the same fluffy brush, and I'm taking that uh, contour kit, and I'm really lightly gonna contour my nose. I'm sorry, I was looking at my cat. using a lot of like red and pink tones I'm gonna actually put blush on and I never do that I'm actually gonna take the same flat brush and I'm gonna dip it into this light pink it's called party with three A's from Tarte now I haven't really decided if I want to do anything with the lower lash line I have some leftover pink and red on this flat brush and I think I'm gonna try so wish me luck hopefully this doesn't ruin the whole look okay next is highlighter I also left my gold highlighter at my friend's house and so I'm using the Fenty Beauty highlighter um, this one is in metal moon it's not the gold one that uh, you usually see people using. I personally just am not a fan of that one. <sighs> oh my god, it's hot. This is the Tarte Tartiest Lip Paint in Sis. I think that's what that says. I'm gonna attempt this, we'll see. If you wanna be a professional, unlike me, you should line your lips with a lip liner, but I'm not doing that. Oh, Jesus, I just blinded myself. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I don't know why I decided to pair it with a beanie and a sweatshirt when it's 101 degrees in Colorado, but here I am. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This is a look that's kind of out of my comfort zone and I don't really go for, but I'm kind of digging it. Like, I think it's cute. If you want to see other looks that I've created that aren't on my YouTube channel, you should check out my Instagram. Um, that's where I put all of my makeup looks and uh, I do some makeup tutorials on there as well. I will put a link in the description and I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye!